Hello and welcome to first time viewers as well as those who've been joining me for some time now. A warm welcome to you. My name's Gloria Coleman. Today I'd like to share one of my poems. I'm reading the poem called Rain, which references the rainbow. Genesis 9, chapter 9, contains God's promise to not flood the whole earth again as in the time of Noah. When we see a rainbow, we can remember this promise, which is a symbol of God's love, of his faithfulness, of his loyal devotion. And remember, sun and rain are both needed to produce a rainbow. The hymn I've chosen to sing is, O Love That Will Not Let Me Go, by John Matheson, dated 1882. It is said that this author was inspired to write this hymn in five minutes during a time of distress. Jeremiah 3.13 talks about God drawing us with his loving kindness. Verse three of the hymn contains these words, I trace the rainbow through the rain. Please bear with me today. I'm fighting a little bit of laryngitis and I hope you can hear me. I hope the words of this poem as well as the words of the hymn bless you and carry you through uh, another week. First, rain. Ever wonder why, at our lowest points in life, God allows more burdens to fall upon us? Ever wonder why, during certain times, when it rains, it pours? The all-knowing Creator God remembers our frame, that we are but dust, men and women with feet of clay. A tender reed he will not break. Could it be that God wants to display his mighty power? Might it be that God will share his glory with no other? Let us look up. Let us raise the umbrella of faith. Lord, I cannot, but I know you can. Let this rain wash away regrets, mistakes, and shortcomings. May it clean the slate of my heart. May it refresh and renew my soul. Lord, send your rain. Perhaps you will open the windows of heaven for me and pour out such a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Sun will follow. It always has. I will watch for your bow in the clouds. I will wait for your rainbow. And now the hymn, O Love That Will Not Let Me Go. Oh, love that will not let me go, I rest my weary soul in thee. I give thee back the life I owe, that in thine ocean depths its flow may richer, fuller be. O light that followest all my way, I yield my flickering torch to thee. My heart restores its borrowed ray that in thy sunshine's blaze its day 
may brighter, fairer be. O joy that seekest me in pain, I cannot close my heart to thee. I trace the rainbow through the rain and feel the promise is not vain that morn shall tearless be. O cross that liftest up my head, I dare not ask to fly from thee. I lay in dust life's glory dead, and from the ground there blossoms red, life that shall endless be. Amen. Amen. Friends, let's look for the reminders of his love and power today. They serve to comfort and to encourage us. He has loved us with an everlasting love. May we get to know God better. Through the reading of his word, if you haven't already, start with the Gospel of John in the New Testament. It'll open so many doors for you. And spend time talking with him as a son to a father. He is waiting to hear from us. May you know his love. May you know his power and his grace. Praise God. It's a joy to, to be with you. And I hope that the words, again, of these poems that I've been sharing, as feeble an attempt as they are <laughs> to glorify God and to do some good, I pray that it speaks to you and encourages your heart. Have a great week in the Lord. Remember, he loves us.